everyone. I'm on a golf cart. I'm down to my least favorite place known as Canton, Ohio, but I get to drive a golf cart, which is super fun. But I uh, work at the Football Hall of Fame Stadium all week. And it's super loud everywhere. Everywhere I get to go is super loud, but it's uh, not a lot of fun. I'm not a big football fan anyway. Uh, and I get to see some, I guess, football legends be inducted into the stadium. But mainly, like, I just get to drive a golf cart, and that's to me, is like, the most fun of it all except for you know i have to build other cameras and run cables and stuff but that's freelance life i, I prefer golf cart life to freelance life so that's where i'm at this week so to add to the misery of my week it's now raining and that sucks all right all right i'm gonna stop myself right there because i don't like the way this is going this place actually has done a little bit for me it was around here last year when i was seeing uh kid rock perform who is an amazing performer by the way even if you don't like his music, because I don't, but he put on a hell of a show. But that's when I kind of realized, like, this is where I want to, like, go with a lot of video making, is doing a lot of my own kind of stand-ups, doing a lot of my own uh, introductions into things, how I experience stuff. So I was very happy that, like, last year kind of sparked this interest for me. I don't know why it was then, or, like, why that's how it happened, but it's just kind of how inspiration kind of hits you sometimes. That's, that's what I felt really at my moment then, was I was inspired to kind of make new movies and make new things and do uh, creative kind of stuff and put it out to the masses. So yeah, this is another video about how inspiration can strike you wherever you are. You can get it from different places. Creativity can hit you at all sorts of different times. So that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tell you where my inspiration comes from and how I live life and how my stories are being told. So more importantly, what I am trying to say here is that you can't let time and space limit to when you're gonna feel creative when you're gonna feel inspired. It's one of those things that just has to hit you like a lightning bolt and come at you at the right time, and you have to know how to capitalize on. So here I'm a year later, just trying to capitalize still. I'm not gonna let anything bring me down. I'm just gonna keep going with what I'm doing. It's also really funny to me that I get to be in a spot that a lot of people care about, I don't, and that's pretty sweet. Whereas other people like wish that they could be this close, and they'll never get this close. They never get to be on the field like that. Well, I'm not always a big fan of everything happening, football related. I'm a big fan of parachute jumps, and that's what this has. logo for a bus. TL, Tim Long, that has a good good look to it. To add to how crappy my time is here, my favorite sunglasses broke. So now I have to go find a new pair of wooden sunglasses. So if you have a good recommendation for a pair of wooden sunglasses, let me know. Because I need some. RIP favorite sunglasses. Bye. Thanks for keeping me so shady. And now, in typical Morcan fashion, my next pair of sunglasses broke, so I can't keep any sunglasses to stay together here. It's so hot today, it was raining earlier this week, I just can't catch a break in this town. That's why I'm never coming back, Ken. I'll see you never. Now I just gotta find the least cheesy pair of these possible. So many boarded up houses ready to close down to build a giant facility. At least my like new bro-y kind of sunglasses fit in with the city of Canton when the sun's a shining. You know, sun's out, guns out. And now what's becoming a ritual of broken sunglasses. Stupid pieces of garbage that I only pay a dollar for. Take that. Welcome to the Tim Long Sunglass Memorial. August 2018. We lost two good pairs. Thank you for protecting my eyes for so many months of the year. RIP.